he always made anyone who, who met him, he sort of made you feel that you were his friend. This, of course, I mean, we've seen here demonstrated your particular hold on these people because of your fame, because of your name, because of everything. You have a tremendous hold on these people. We've seen it here. Does this strike you as being a great responsibility? Well, I would say yes. I have a great responsibility to do all I can uh, as an image to uh, lead them into doing the right things. I would say I'm not a leader, but all I can do is uh, do the best I can, hoping that they will follow after to me, like, uh, like, for an example, uh, I think that uh, the smoking that they are trying to do at a young age, so you know, I just encourage this, and the drinking and the mistreatment of the women, and uh, the uh, stealing and gang wars and fighting and killing one another, which is going on throughout the United States, and as long as I can obey the laws of the land, as long as it don't conflict with my religious beliefs, and live as clean as I can, hoping that some of them will be impressed by it and see the success that I have and try to follow me in that way. I think despite the seriousness of, of the situation he found himself in o over this draft business, uh, despite that, I think he always had the self-confidence that at some stage he could get back into sport. He'd never... Boxing was basically was the only thing he could do with, with great proficiency. And I don't think he ever, ever thought my career is over. He always had that optimism that he would, he would get back.